Good afternoon from Yami Bay TV, evening when this video reaches you. Sending special love to you all, as usual. And I thought I'd come up today to give you a little bit of content and to make sure some of you who have been worrying about me uh, know that I am in really, really safe hands. I'm actually in a private hospital, right? Lunch is served. I've been there a couple of hours now. I haven't moved yet. I'm looking to be up around a day or two's time. Um, but luckily, as usual, uh, we get the rubber to green. A couple of my beloved followers own a nursing home or private hospital, as they call it. And they've been nursing me back to health. Right. So we've got that out of the way. Today, I want to talk about um, the stuff going around social media to do with Mark Fellows. Right. One. And we'll get to Cashman in a minute. The one um, that shot, sadly, Olivier, the little girl down there in Liverpool. And recent alleged on social media about attacks happening to both of them. Now, we look back on Yami B TV, right? At the beginning of time, when we spoke about, you know, the great Paul Massey, much loved in Manchester, if not respected by all, right? Um, we said that at some stage, um, fellows will be open to attack at any time during that sentence, so would Cashman as well, right? I can clarify today, right, uh, with my ears to the ground and those phone calls um, from people from the category A's that talk to this one and talk to that one. I can tell you that when Mark Fellows was in Whitemore, he got attacked. Now, the man being named in that attack wasn't a man Mancurian. He was a Liverpudlian. So we could we could draw one and one and make three, or one and one make two, or one and one, one make four. That we could believe that he got attacked that first time round over Kinsella, the other man that he was convicted of mur murdering. Right. So I can tell you also that he's not a problem control for the prison officers. In those original category A's that he was in, Whitemore, Long Island, Full Sutton, Franklin. All right, so we'll talk about Whitemore, right? So he got moved from Whitemore to go to Wakefield. Now, not a problem for staff in that way, right? We know he's appealing. We know that already he has to watch his back for comebacks. And so it proved at some stage, right, in Whitemore. So he goes to Wakefield Prison. Gangster Times, amongst other people, they comment on the attack coming through that definitely, definitely happened, scar to his head and neck. And the other thing that I can clarify, when he's out on association, right, or t exercise time, when he, you know, the door gets unlocked, his cell door gets unlocked and he comes out for free time to talk to people, he hardly ever stays in a cell, his own cell by himself, right? We could draw um, reference to that on two for two reasons right he doesn't want to be stuck in the cell in case he, it's a, he's a sitting target for inmates monitoring his behavior to try and get him get him all alone in his cell so he could be doing the art of war by coming out and walking around and you know um engaging with other inmates in the establishment he is i have it firsthand that not many associate with him there will be a couple of people that he can get talking to that maybe he knew from the streets before. Um, but the majority won't want to go nowhere near him because they will be aware that he's a sitting target at some stage that he's open to attack. And they don't really want to get in the mix of it all. So they'll be playing that smart, right? He's a brave man. He will defend himself. will do the best he can. But at any given stage, you cannot be on point all the time in those category A's. And so it proves time and time again, one little slip, one friend pretending to be your friend, um, come around here, oh yeah, yeah, come on the yard, meet me here, but he might have been setting it up and he setting him up and he ends up getting a cut. So he moves from Whitemore, right? Recent times. And he goes to Wakefield, right? So I categorically tell you, right, fact that it was a Liverpudlian that cut him in Whitemore. I categorically tell, you, categorically tell you today in Wakefield, with all the phone calls coming through and the information being received, that definitely down, definitely um, revenge for Massey, right? Because I have it firsthand that the legendary prison hitman from Manchester who came out and he's back in on for whatever reasons, right? Uncle Yami says, 
categorically that he believes that it could have been him or another, if you get what I mean. Right? So, who who loved Paul Massey? We knew there'd be plenty of men in that system, old or new going in, that loved Paul Massey. Right? So, it's not no real shock to any of us. Right? He wasn't in his cell at the time in Wakefield, which runs um, proven to what my knowledge is from Whitemore, where he doesn't spend a lot of time in his cell on association times or when the doors open, right? So he mixes in, tries to feel out the atmosphere, who's affiliated to two, who's affiliated to who, where's it going to come from? All right. He did not run off to get to Wakefield Prison. I, I can be um, categorically sure on that. But he will never be safe in there. And there are two serious attempts on his life, right? And that, that for me, um, that can only spell one thing, that eventually um, that job will be done in there, 100%, and it could be down to anyone. Now, Cashman, right? The man that shot Olivier in those tragic circumstances in Liverpool. The news that was coming on social media a few days ago, that he got hot water or hot oil thrown over him in strange ways on the exercise yard, right? On the exercise yard. Now, let's break this down properly, right? Most of you would have already been aware that it would be highly improbable for it to have happened on an exercise yard. For the reason being that ever since he's been sentenced, he's been kept all by himself, in the segregation or a hospital or somewhere where he's not at risk of getting attacked. Now, we know even in them places, when you're um, under close scrutiny and you're put away from everyone else, as we found out with Huntley, when Mark Folks managed to get him and he was really seriously high risk Huntley, how he got down there to even have a go at Ian Huntley, but still ended up um, on the floor himself, folksy, right? Which was a muggy turnout. How are you going to get a chance with him and mess that up if you get what I mean? Which tells us the prison staff turned the back high, turned um, their backs to that scenario for a minute, if you get what I mean, because it would be highly impossible for anyone to reach Hundley. So it's not, so it's in, in the re realms of possibilities, it's quite likely that prison staff will turn their back on the powers that be and let Cashman get hurt as well. But the reason we know this is not true with the exercise and the hot water thing is because for one, the person that they're naming who did it, Piggy, um, a.k.a. Lee Amos, who's doing a life sentence for some tragic uh, murders of some kind or whatever. Lee May Amos was not in strange ways at that time. Secondly, there is no way you are going to get on the yard in strange ways with a flask or a hot cup of water or cup and be able to throw it for a fence where Cashman might be having exercise separate from everybody else and he just happens to be out there at the same time. There's no way you're going to be able to throw that um, hot water or hot fat whatever it was, through a fence and hit him, right? The only way that could have happened if somebody else was down that nearby, segregated with him, who got a chance to go out with him while he's getting his dinner at the hot plate down the segregation under close scrutiny, and they let him out at the same time and he walks past him and throws it at him in a dinner queue, right? Also, highly unlikely, Uncle Yami says, definitely not Lee Amos. What a load of Coswallop. Cashman, like Massey, um, like Fellows, in the end, will get what, you know, everybody thinks he deserves. If Fellows is getting trouble for what he's alleged to be inside for, you can bet your bottom dollar that Cash Cashman, they will be out for him even more. 100%. Um, the, the ones that are not really much legendary status in the category A's will want to make a name for themselves and do that. We know that already. With Massey's, it's completely close to home for him and Kinsella because many of the men that have, you know, been part of Massey's team and Kinsella's team over a long period of time, they would, they either in there at the time or there are long hands out there that can get those, that guy that has been being convicted of that, that can definitely get him done. They've got the power to do that, 100%, right? And they've done it. With Cashman, it could come from absolutely anywhere. So he's not down 
in segregation because he wants to be. He hasn't put himself on Rule 43 protection. We said categorically, when he walked in after getting that sentence, they said, look, we can't, there's a hit out on you. We've got to, we've got to listen because we don't want to be open to, um, what do they call it again? Um, being liable because we've got all this information that you're going to get done and all that. We don't want you to make any money out of your life, especially after what you've done. One of the reasons, right, or the power game where they just want to fiddle about with his brain for a bit to break him down a bit and keep him, you know, try and get him talking down there, whatever. Could be many reasons. But he was down segregation all by himself and still remains there up till today unless you lot are telling me different. Uncle Yami says, 100% lies about the hot water being thrown at him through the fence on the exercise yard could never have happened. And even if he would have been on the exercise yard with another man who's in close um, proximity of where he's segregated to, that can't happen either because that guy couldn't get out with the flask or the cup to go on the yard with him because you get rubbed down and that kind of thing. It definitely can't happen with an exercise yard opposite. I've made that clear already, just going reiterating it because that's not going to happen as well, right? They're not going to really, the big exercise yard in strange ways next to, you know, um, the segregation, supposed segregation um, place where it's sealed off, where, they, where you can be seen walking about. There will be barriers up so that nothing can get passed through or thrown through to that segregation bit. Absolutely fat, all right? So sending loads of love to you. I hope I've made a little bit of sense to you by just clarifying what many of us have said all along. This is how it works in those prisons be up hopefully i'm hoping to go live either tonight or tomorrow right i'll keep you paid i'll keep you posted but i'm nearly up and coming loads of love